Hi, I'm Papa. Today I want to show you how to make the Korean non-spicy tofu stew. Today, ingredient is not a lot of stuff and it's easy to make. First, we will cut the zucchini to small pieces and then we only need half of it and it's the size it depends on you then we need the shim rice water uh, kamali tofu ground pork and then onion and then some mushroom and the sauce we will need the fish sauce and then the cinnamon oil and the um, minim the minimum you don't have it, you just put more of the fish sauce, it will be fine. And the mushroom, you can use the one you like. We just like the chicken leg mushroom. The texture is like eat the chicken meat. So we try to put that, but you can put the regular white mushroom or any kind of mushroom you like. And the zucchini, we just cut this. You can even smaller pieces. So it will be bring more flavor and easy to eat too so, and the, this soup we do not have like the exactly ingredient but if you want it to be a little bit salty or you want it to be more light it's up to you so I will cut the whole thing because I will make two bowls so but one bowl is like half will be enough then we need some green onion, we cut it about an inch or a one and a half inch long. It's for at the end we put on top of the tofu soup. And then the shim, we take out the shell and then clean, uh, wash it, clean it and then dry it a little bit, use the paper towel to dry it. So this is the chicken leg mushroom and then we just like cut this small pieces same and then the onion we will chop it as a slice now I will cut the kamari but the best is put the crime but for us, we have someone is allergy to it, so we change to kamari. But if you want the texture and then the taste to be more seafood, then I will say crumb is better. Any kind of the crumb will be good. With the shell will be okay too, but before you put it, make sure you wash it and put in water a little bit. Make sure they don't have the sand in there. Okay, after you prepare all the ingredients, then you can use the regular pot or like me, I have this. The reason I have this is that the supermarket we went, they are on sale, it's only $11 for this one. That's why we got this. Regularly, we use the regular pot will be fine too. It's not like you only can use this one so after you heat up you put some cement oil in there we don't use other oil this will bring up the flavor and smell much better you put some oil in and then when you heat up first you will put the ground pot in there and then to coat it a little bit before you put the other ingredient Onion will be a little bit hard to coat it soft, so the next one I will put the onion. Then uh, the zucchini and then the, you can put the mushroom too.
after you put all the YJ in there and lightly coat a little bit and let it heat up before you put the rice water. The rice water will be much better and let me talk about a little bit on the rice water. How when we get the rice water is that when we cook the rice, we wash the rice. The first time we don't save it because those like all the dirty on the rice we it will be there so we will wash and then tear away and then the second time we save it and then use on this and then the rice water will make the whole thing the flavor come out so we won't put the tofu those like uh, that soon because those is easy cook and done so we will wait until it boil then we will put the seafood and the tofu Tofu, we don't cut it. The original Korean tofu store, they don't cut it nice on the tofu. So they will just like grab from the um, package and then put it in there. You can see on my video and you will know what I mean. Yeah, you don't need to make it like cut it nice size is that is not the original Korean style after that don't push too hard or use the spoon to put otherwise the tofu will be changed to small pieces large piece will be good enough and then the see the shim is ready and then like the karma is almost ready then when it boil again we will put in the seasoning we will put in one and a half teaspoon of the fish sauce but I will recommend you put one teaspoon first if it's enough then that's it if not then you add another half teaspoon the reason is if you put one and a half all in it may be too salty and you cannot change it after that you put the minimum is like half teaspoon only this you don't put a lot it's just to bring up the flavor you have already have all the veggie to make the sweetness and then you have the seafood and grandpa to bring up all the flavor already so you don't need to add too much just a little bit to bring it up after that you put in the green onion we make this is for the kids so we don't put the egg so that's why I in the ingredient I put egg is optional but if you want just when it's done put the egg in there yeah they are not cold don't worry it's hot enough they will make the egg be nice and good but if you have kids I will not really recommend to do that it will still taste good and then if you not enough just add a half teaspoon salt it will be perfect so see now I feel not enough that I add that half teaspoon in there so don't rush to put in everything is like change to the favorite you like if you think one and a half not enough you can put two i hope you will find this video helpful and i hope you will give me a like subscribe my channel and then click the bell so i have a new video you won't miss it bye